Russia's defense minister, Sergei Shoigu, says Ukraine is planning to attack Russian territory with NATO-supplied missiles. He warned that if it happened, Moscow would retaliate. According to the information we have, the command of Ukraine's armed forces plans to attack Russian territory, including Crimea, with HIMARS and Storm Shadow missiles. Deployment of these missiles beyond the zone of the special military operation would mean full-scale involvement of the United States and Britain in the conflict. This would entail immediate strikes on decision-making centers on Ukraine's territory. For more on this, let's speak to Yulia Shapovalova in Moscow. Yulia, this sounds like Russia saying that it has red lines that must not be crossed in this conflict. It does, doesn't it? Uh, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu uh, has shed some light on the plans of the armed forces of Ukraine to strike at the territory of Russia, including Crimea. He said that the Western HIMARS and Storm Shadow missiles would be used by the Ukrainians and uh, that Kiev would use its Western kit and elite formations trained by NATO specialists. So, as a retaliatory measure, Shoigu threatened to carry out immediate strikes on decision making centers in Ukraine. So, there's been an immediate reaction to those words in Telegram channels here. Experts say that Russia always draws the so-called red lines, promising to punish Ukraine for its actions and attacks. But basically, all it does is keeping pounding Ukraine's infrastructure, and not just that, on a daily basis. So now we just have to wait and see what decision-making centers will be targeted by Russia this time around. Uh, Shoigu also noted that Ukrainian troops were trying to attack in the South Donetsk, Donetsk and Zapata. Parogia directions. And since June the 4th, the Ukrainians have launched 263 attacks on the positions of the Russian troops. All of the Ukrainian attacks were repelled. And as for the full involvement of the United States and Britain in the conflict, uh, the Russian leadership has many times stated that Russia resists not just Ukraine, but NATO as a whole. Uh, it's a hybrid war, and all the NATO countries are involved. So nothing new here again. Uh, apart from Sergei, Sergei Shoigu, uh, Sergei Lavrov, Russia's foreign minister, has just stated if NATO is against freezing the conflict in Ukraine, that means they want to fight. So Moscow is ready for that too. Well, I guess no analysis needed here. Basically, according to all the words and statements, uh, there is no end in sight, at least uh, this hour. Yulia Shapovalova reporting from Moscow. Thank you very much.